Growing up with digital cameras, I've never made the experience of the whole photography process. That means I've never really processed or developed a photo like you would do it back in the days. Curious to know what it would be like, I set myself a challenge of shooting one roll of 35mm film. What I've experienced doing it was unlike everything else that I've done in photography and I thought it would be great to share it with you. What's going on everyone out there? I hope you are doing great. My name is Hannes Engel, for those of you that don't know it yet. In this video we are going to talk about something different in photography and that is film photography. Since I started this YouTube channel, this camera has always been sitting somewhere. It's always been in the background of my videos or somewhere in my room without really having a purpose. The only thing that I used it for is because it looks cool. So I always had it on my shelf. But recently I decided to try film photography because you need to try everything, right? And so I wanted to go ahead and shoot my first role of film and some of you might be confused because you've never heard of film before or you just don't know what it is so I didn't either but I learned about it Film photography is basically photography before digital, so photography before I was born. Because I was born in 2001 and back then people started to switch to digital cameras or even earlier, I don't know. But no one wanted to shoot film anymore. But now there is kind of like a trend again of people shooting film. And so I wanted to go ahead and try it out myself and share this experience with you and show you my first roll of film. Here's what we are going to do in this video, so you will not see how I shoot the roll of film because I already shot it and already got it developed. I'm going to show you the final photos and we are going to have a look at the photos and how they came out. And I know it would be cool if I had the footage where I actually shot it, but I don't have the footage, so... <laughs> Anyway, maybe I can do that the next time. Then later on, I will go outside and try to take a few photos on a digital camera, so on my Sony or on my Nikon, we will see. Then I will try to take a few photos outside, maybe at the skate park and shoot a few skate photos. And then later I will go into Lightroom and try to edit the photos as if they were shot on a film camera, so that you can see and maybe learn a new ways of editing photos in Lightroom. And we're going to try to get this old look for our photos, for our digital photos. And I guess that's already enough for the video, so let's start with reviewing the photos that I shot and unboxing them. Here they are, here are my photos and we actually have two cameras now that's pretty cool so that you see the photos. They're in here, I got them developed in a shop and that's pretty expensive. I guess it costed around 20 euros, that's a whole lot for a few photos. Before we start now I need to say I never did this in my life, this has been completely new for me. I liked it and the process is pretty cool, it slows down your photography and I shot all the photos on this camera here that you always see in my background. This is the Canon EA1 and my father, because he lived in that times, told me that this was one of the most popular cameras at the time and it's a 35mm film photography camera. That's how you load it and then... So I will say I already had a look at the photos and a lot of them aren't very good because to be honest I did not do a lot of research and I just shot the roll and tried to do something but at least I know what to avoid in the next time. So let's start. Moment of truth. I guess I'm not going to show every single photo. Lots of them are skate photos actually. So here we have our negatives I think they are called. I really don't know anything about film photography but here are the negatives, what I know that the photos get processed from these stripes and you can get your photos printed and developed from these negatives. To me it just seems very interesting, I had the same with the VX1000, my old camera for skate videos and it's also something new to learn. So we have our photos here, these are I guess 35 photos or 36, I don't know exactly how much you have in a roll, I guess 36. And first up we have this card here where all the photos are displayed. We have our first photo here which is super cool. I just really love the wipe that a photo like this has. It has such a nice feeling, I don't know, it has this old feeling. So here it is, I guess you can already see it in the other camera. But here is the photo, I don't know if you are able to see it. I hope you are able to see it, otherwise I will scan it and show it somehow. Even though it's quite expensive, I might try it another time because, as I said, I really enjoyed it. Our second photo is similar to the first one. This might be my favorite. It's my brother and another friend of mine standing with the skateboard. And the shadow looks super cool on the face. I just really like this photo. 
super cool to have photos printed because something that I do not enjoy that much about photography nowadays. The whole process of photography kind of got lost because nowadays if you're taking photos you go outside to take photos somewhere in the mountains maybe and you take a digital camera you shoot the photos as fast as possible and then you come home with 300 photos or 400 photos whatever you import them into Lightroom and then you slap over a preset post them on Instagram and then they are gone. That's the thing you just don't care about the photos you just care about posting them to Instagram and that's why I wanted to try this and why I liked it because now you have all your photos printed. The next one is my brother um, on the ground of the old skate hall. A portrait of my brother in the skate hall but it's um, not very sharp. I actually missed the focus in a lot of photos because I did not know how to focus with a film camera. Later on my dad taught me how to do it but it's pretty complicated, this does not have out of focus. In the middle of the viewfinder you see a line and that needs to be straight and otherwise the photo isn't sharp and I did not know that so that's why a lot of them are not very sharp but this one is actually super cool here we've been in Innsbruck skateboarding and I just really like how it looks like it has a super cool vibe and here you have it then the next one might be my favorite I already had a look at the photos as I said this one looks super cool in my opinion this was one of the first photos that I took after I bought the roll and this is my friend doing a backside tail slide on the box here and I tried to shoot through this glass and it ended up looking super cool because now you have some reflection, you have some out of focus elements and I just really like how this looks like, pretty cool skate photo in my opinion. This one is the worst actually, I guess I shot this by accident, out of focus and total nonsense. <laughs> and as I said I'm not going to show every single photo, here we have a 360 flip of my brother at least it looks like a 360 flip. I'm now going to choose a few more photos to show you here. Then we have two of my brothers skateboarding that are very similar. I really like these. They have a cool um, lighting. <laughs> they have a cool light situation in the background with golden hour light. And they express something for me because this is actually the way to the old skate park. In the background of the photo you see the old skate park and this is actually how we used to push there whenever we went skating. And this just reminds me of the time of the trashy park in the hometown and yeah, pretty cool photo. I actually will frame this and hang it on my wall, maybe. <laughs> then we have one that I like because of the photo. We have actually a photo of the desk here, I guess I just tried out um, shooting that. With the lines of light that went through the window, it kind of like creates this atmosphere and I like it. Here's a snowy landscape, also not really sharp, but it looks pretty cool. Then we have this photo here, this is actually one of my favorite too. We have my brother filming with the VX and we have my friend um, doing a kickflip and I shot it in the right moment because it's the perfect moment for shooting a kickflip and it looks pretty cool. Then we have my friend pushing with the skate on the street here, also cool wipe to it. This is the last photo of me pushing in front of this wall. Nothing special but I just really like the look of the photos. I'm surprised by how good some of them are because I did not expect it. Would I recommend trying this out? Totally. If you're interested in photography and you've never shot film before just like me then you should try this out because it's an interesting process and I do say it's not very cheap you have to buy the roll of film I guess that was like five bucks or something then you have 20 dollars or 20 years for the film development and then you need to find an old camera but maybe you'll find one at home from your parents or something but in the end I really enjoyed this form of photography and to me it was very interesting if you have ever tried it yourself, then let me know your experiences with it. Now we will go on, now I will go outside. And I know it does not really make a lot of sense uh, shooting a photo on a digital camera and making it look old, but we are going to try it anyway, so let's move on here. <laughs> Why do I always spring into the frame? So, it is the next day now and we need to talk because I thought about this while editing the video, this current video and we are already at 10 minutes here on the timeline and it maybe gets too long for today if I now go outside to take photos and edit in Lightroom and do a whole tutorial so I thought it would be best for both of us, me and you out there to split these two videos and so this is the first part of the film photography video where I review the film shots and so the next video, the second video is going to be a little tutorial on how to get the film look on digital photos in Lightroom so that's going to be the next video that's coming 
very soon in maybe a few days and I hope that is okay for you I hope that is a good plan <laughs> that being said I hope you found this video here interesting I hope you enjoyed watching it and um, I would definitely recommend to everyone out there that thinks about trying film photography to do it and to don't be afraid of trying it and just go to the photo store grab a roll of film and try it out because it really is an interesting experience having to wait till the photos are developed and then seeing the final photos and now you could see how I experienced it and you can see how interesting it is to do something like this so and I don't think that I'm going to do it very soon again because it costs quite a bit but hey if you have any further questions about this I can help you with the things that I've experienced already while doing it so if you have any questions about it just shoot me a DM on Instagram it's at Hannes Engel now that we've clarified that I hope I see you in the next video which is going to be the Lightroom tutorial Thanks for watching today's video, it means a lot to me, if you watch my videos please subscribe below and I'm going to see you then in the next video, thanks and peace out, bye.